y'all, it's Butters. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day full of positivity and happiness as always. <laughs> and for today's video, we are vlogging. Oh my goodness, it's been a little bit since I vlogged. However, this vlog is going to be a little bit weird. This vlog is going to consist of a bunch of tech things that I have done in the past two months. That'll include a CPU cooler installation into my PC Mordecai. Uh, building some gaming chairs and doing like a gaming chair roundup in case you guys are looking for gaming chairs. Beginning my guest room PC gaming setup as well. It'll be a little bare bones, but bear with me. And also I'm going to be cleaning my Xbox One controller that I use for Call of Duty. And I also found these relics that I want to go ahead and clean up and get ready for playing with. Guitar Hero. These controllers are 15 years old. Can you believe that? Well, this one's 15. This one might be a little bit younger by a year, but look at- Do y'all see how dusty they are? They have been sitting in a closet somewhere just gathering dust. I want to see if they still work. And I also want to update you guys on my office as well because the office tour is coming, I promise. I've just been doing some last minute fixes to get it perfect for the video, but it'll be soon. I'm going to start with something pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and clean my Xbox One controller and this is going to be really gross for some of you guys. I'm really sorry. Nobody's perfect. This is just human. Um, when you get white sticks on your controller, they get dirty really quickly. If you can see, if you're a sweaty tryhard, they get dirty. Uh, that's embarrassing to show on camera, but whatever. I have some Q-tips and some isopropyl alcohol. I'm just going to be cleaning the sticks and the controller itself. And here we go. Very simple cleaning. Nothing too crazy, I know. <laughs> also, while I'm cleaning this controller, I do want to go ahead and give a shout out to our sponsor for the video. Today's video is sponsored by Moot. Isn't that an adorable name for an app? Oh my goodness. Moot is a free mobile app for iOS, Android, and the web that will improve your gaming experience. Whether you're looking for a new teammate, looking for some new strategies, or just want to browse through some gaming memes while you're waiting for your next match, this is the app for you. This app has over hundreds of gaming lounges that you can browse through. You can pick your favorites and you can see what's going on in those games. I personally picked Call of Duty, Borderlands, Smash, and I ended up finding G Fuel on there too. How funny is that? You can scroll through and see what's happening with each gaming community. The unique looking for group feature is also amazing so you could find the perfect teammates for you. Just fill out what you're looking for in regards to teammates, like if you want a mic, if you want, you know, to play Search and Destroy, TDM, whatever it may be, and the looking for group option will do the rest for you. There's also plenty of existing groups as well, so you guys will definitely find people to play with. This is a great way to make friends with people who are like-minded just like you, who just want to clutch up the round in some Call of Duty or Fortnite or whatever. You can also customize your profile using Moot Coins, which you get by using the app. You can also enter some giveaways for real gaming equipment like mice, keyboards, consoles, whatever it may be, using Moot Tickets. Moot is 100% free to enjoy, so feel free to go check it out. I will leave a link down in the description below. And thank you, Moot, for sponsoring this video. And I am making some pretty good progress on this controller so far. I'm going to save this stick for last so you guys can see how I clean this controller, but uh, this is looking fancy schmancy already. Sometimes you don't realize how much you sweat when you're playing games. I'm a sweaty gamer. I've zoomed in on the controller, as you guys can see. This is a clean stick. This is not a clean stick. Let me show you how to clean it. So you're gonna wanna take a Q-tip, dip it in some isopropyl alcohol, and there's a method to this. Are you guys ready? Instead of just rubbing it like this, you wanna kinda do this and scoop with it, if that makes sense. Do you see this stick getting stuck? Oh my gosh, I think it needs a serious cleaning. <laughs> I like that a lot. There we go. Nice. I'm gonna be 110% real with you all. This is just disgusting. <laughs> if you don't clean your controller sticks regularly, I highly suggest that you do because this just looks bad. This is gross. But that looks so much better, doesn't it? And don't forget to get the underside too, if y'all can see that. Pretty gross. Much better. Now that looks so much better. That controller stick looks like it's almost glowing, but this is definitely way better than before, and I bet you it's gonna play a lot better too. Dang, that really does look nice. I need to do this more often. If you don't do this, highly recommend that you do. So that was the first task, but I also wanna go ahead and give you guys a quick update on my office. I am gonna be doing an official office tour for sure, um, but I do wanna go ahead and show you guys the progress that I have made because I, I need to make a couple like finishing touches, but I can give y'all a sneak peek. Here's the control that we just cleaned, but here is my setup that I am currently sitting at. That is a really bright screen, oh goodness. I'm looking up uh, camera batteries because I need another uh, camera battery because I only have one. But um, this is what it's looking like so far. Do you guys like it? Don't mind all the tools as well. Don't mind the cable management. I'm going to be fixing that. Um, looks pretty great. We're going to talk about this in a second, but I do want to 
mosey on over this way. There's my Guitar Hero controllers I'm going to be fixing. Here's my big old mirror. Hello! Yes, I have a big old mirror for selfies and stuff, which looks amazing. I'm so happy with this. Um, and then we also have Post Hank here. And if you guys don't know who Poe is, Poe is my pet snake. Is he in here? Yes, he is. Hello, buddy. Do you all see him? It's kind of bright in here, but he's right there. There he is. Hi, buddy. And if we continue this way, here is my G Fuel fridge, which I love. And I have all my G Fuel stacked here. Also, there's audio panels everywhere. My dad custom made these. There's this one. There's that one. There's also three more here. Boom, bam, thank you, ma'am. And even this right here. This was a mountain tapestry in my old room, but my dad even made it into an audio panel as well. Big shout out, Dad. Thank you so much. And over here in the background of my videos is a couch. We have a little guy and a Clefairy and me and a throw blanket. Yep. And then we also have my badges here on the back of the door. Now this closet. This is something that I really want to talk about. So this is my tech closet. I plan on doing a couple more things in here, but for what we have now, we have the consoles stacked right here. We have the Xbox One, the PS4. We have a very powerful laptop that has RGB lights on the side as well, which just looks amazing. I had to lift it up and show it on the desk because I think it just looks awesome. See that glow? Unbelievable. It's so pretty. I also have this laptop. This is the laptop that I use to travel with. I will link both these uh, laptops down in the description below if you guys want to know more about them. I also have a printer here. You always need a printer. I've actually used this more than I thought I would. And up here I have my night vision goggles and then just a couple of boxes for stuff that I might have to return to the manufacturer. I'm not one to keep boxes, but I'm keeping these just in case and also my modem. I also want to show you guys how the RGB lights work in my room. We'll just go ahead and do this one right here. Yes, look at that. Look at that. You can change these RGB lights to any color that you pretty much want. We got light blue over here beautiful. You can even do a pink color as well if you would like to. Looks great. You can change it to all sorts of colors really. Let me just scroll through this really quick. Yeah, any color I want for the most part. And I can address them individually too. Like I can take one of these lights and make it, uh, I don't know, blue. See, I can change him as well. I'm kind of feeling this color scheme. What do y'all think? I think it's just glowing, looking fancy. That's all I'm gonna go ahead and show for my setup at the moment. Oh my gosh, my Modern Warfare finally installed. Yes, okay, that took about three, four hours. Would you look at that season two of Modern Warfare? Oh wait, it says it's still installing. Hello? Okay. Alrighty, so the next thing I wanna go ahead and do in this tech vlog is see if these controllers are working, and if they are, I wanna go ahead and clean them up and uh, get them prepped for potential Guitar Hero streams. These are classic models of Guitar Hero controllers. They are fantastic, and I'm really hoping they work. They are actually PS2 controllers. If I could pick up an end of one of these, just take a look at that chunk. So I actually have myself an adapter for a PS2 controller to USB, so I can actually plug it into my PC. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a go and see if they're working, and if they are, we'll move forward. USB gamepad is up and ready to go. Let's go ahead and fire up some Clone Hero and see if this works. It's so dusty, oh my gosh, but I'm going to press the start button. Drivers! I should probably <laughs> install the drivers. One second. Alright, drivers have been installed. Let's press the start button. Please work. What? Maybe a good old restart will do some good. I'm gonna go ahead and test out my Explorer to make sure that this is working, I guess. So start, ready? Yeah, okay, so you might not be working. I'm gonna try the other one really quick. All right, so this controller also is not working. I'm not sure if it's the controllers themselves or the adapter. The adapter registers on my PC, but I did also look at the Amazon listing and it says that it's not compatible for PS2 guitar which I find very confusing because if I scroll down here, uh, will it work for Guitar Hero for PS2? Absolutely. So, what? So with that being said, I don't think that this adapter is meant for these controllers. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Uh, I'm gonna be buying a different adapter that is fully approved by a lot of Clone Hero streamers. Um, so maybe that will make these work, but in the meantime, I guess I'll just clean these and at least have them pretty for display purposes and maybe I'll try and tackle this again sometime. We're gonna wipe it down. Yeah, you see how dusty it is? Y'all see that? I'm pretty sure you're tired of looking at it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know. I've only tackled the neck of the guitar. Look at that. Look at that discoloration. There is so much dust, and I want to scream. And we're gonna clean this one too, obviously. Just 
clean the Guitar Hero controller. The nostalgia is flooding back just looking at this thing. Here we go. How's that looking? Pretty clean. Okay, I ended up cleaning all of my controllers, so I guess that's something. Um, nice and clean, shiny. Um, this one works. These two may or may not work. I'm gonna get another adapter to make sure. But um, here they are, glorious controllers. Hello friends, how are you all doing today? So today, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I plan on doing. If you guys can see behind me, there's a chair. But if you look closely, yeah. Yeah, I think it's time to replace my Vertigear chair. I absolutely love this chair. It's just starting to rip a little bit. I could totally put a blanket on it and call it a day, but I also want to try out a new chair color, some bringing some new aesthetic into my office. Do you all see the box in the hallway? He is right there. That has a new Vertigear chair in it. I'm gonna be retiring this one into one of my guest rooms in my house, but we're gonna be building this one today, and I'm really excited about it, Vertigear. Thank you guys so much for saying this to me, by the way. Really appreciate it. Production Butters here. I got distracted by another project, so I kind of abandoned the Vertigo chair for a bit. I'm sorry. We'll come back to it. Hello, friends. I am here with another tech vlog clip thing. I have no idea how this vlog's gonna go, but oh well. Just doing a bunch of tech things. So for today, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys an update on the guest room downstairs. We affectionately call it the Narnia room. It's uh, very Narnia-esque. It has some fancy chairs in it. It has a little wardrobe, and let me show you guys. It's still somewhat under construction. This wardrobe, this giant wardrobe right here is not going to be here, but if you walk in, See the fancy chairs? I'm also drawing a uh, giant bedding over this too. I probably should show you guys what the actual bedding looks like. Looks like this, it's very cute. But um, yeah, got some fancy chairs over here with a Narnia book, of course. And we also have a built-in wardrobe. How cool is this thing? My dad did this and I love it. But uh, this is pretty much the guest room in my house. And as you guys know, I'm going to be adding a gaming set up right here. I actually finally found a desk that I like. We mostly thrift everything in my house, like these are thrifted, the chairs for my grandparents, tables thrifted. We like to thrift everything, so this is another thrift pickup that we found and I love it. I think it is so unique, so cool. Um, it needs a little bit touched up as y'all can see, but nothing, nothing too major. I also love how it has a wooden top here and then it has black legs like this. It kind of reminds me of the bed here where it has the black sides and the wooden top. But I really wanted the black legs specifically because if we're going to be doing some cable management, it'll blend in really well with the legs. So for today's little tech clip vlog thing, we're going to be beginning this gaming setup in this room. I'm going to bring in my little guy PC, which I did a video on. I built him. He's really cute and small. I will leave the video down in the description below. I also have a monitor from Asus. I have a mouse pad. I have a keyboard and mouse as well. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get this started with the setup and... Um, We'll see where we go with it. Whoa, how's this view? You guys are so high up. You're so tall. I'm gonna go get the stuff and I'll be right back. Hello. Monitor. Check. Hello. I have the PC. That's a big mouse pad. Here's what I got so far. I love this mouse pad, but something tells me that's a little big for this table. Um, I want to be able to see the wood more. I think it looks a lot more authentic. Um, so I'm going to try out my other Skyrim mouse pad and we'll see how that looks. It's not really like Narnia, but it is fantasy, I guess. So let's see how that looks. And here we have it. I haven't powered it on yet, but this is pretty much what I'm going for. I definitely like this mouse pad a lot more. It's a lot less um, overwhelming than the other one. Also, look who's here. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to make it. Hi, buddy. Are you comfy? He looks so happy. Oh my gosh, you're so good. You're such a good puppy. Yes, you are. You're so good. But now we're going to go ahead and turn on the PC and see how it looks, shall we? Let me make sure this is switched on. It is. Getting power. And go. I should probably turn on the monitor, huh? <laughs> That's probably a good idea. Ta-da! And it works. Hooray. How exciting. Or a light mo- Yes, let's turn that on. It turns on the logo. Ready? Boom! Yeah, we want that on. Neat. I'm gonna turn the light too so we can see what it looks like. Yeah, look at that glow. Look at that glow. I need to change the colors. It's meant to be orange. <laughs> oh, it changed for me. Thank you. I, I guess y'all got the memo. Y'all, <laughs> 
Technology's listening, I swear. For those who haven't seen the little guy PC in a while, here he is. He's working great. Um, I still have to get that other RAM stick in. I can't find it. I moved, so I lost the RAM stick. It's somewhere in storage somewhere, but here we are. How exciting. Look at the orange glow over here, and then ready, ready? An orange glow over there, too. Oh my goodness gracious. This room is just a vibe and a half. Look at that. I'm gonna do cable management, I swear. That's all my list of things to do. I just don't know how to do it yet, so. But the glow, the glow. Here y'all have it, the very beginning of my first guest room PC setup. Okay, hello friends. So my plans changed a little bit when I was uh, just about to build my Vertigear chair. Um, I got really sick. I ended up getting the flu. It's been a couple of days since I've had the flu. Uh, I'm feeling a lot better now, but while I had the flu, I had something come in the mail and I'm like, what is this? I, you know, it's another chair. If you can see him in the background, there he is. It is another chair. This one's actually a DX racer. It is a gift from G Fuel, so thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. I wanted to go ahead and build um, both chairs and I actually really wanted to compare them because I've owned a DX racer before and I've owned a Vertigear and maybe I can provide a little bit of insight for those who might be trying to decipher which one to pick. So I'm going to go ahead and build this and then we'll build the Vertigear one and then we'll talk about them both, okay? Okay. This is my first time recording in about two weeks, I think. Um, this flu really got me um, <clears throat> down, the, down the dumps, man. I, I, it hit me hard, but I digress. This is the first thing I'm going to be doing to kind of jump back into video making. So yeah, I have the energy to do this. Let's, okay, I'm going to move the camera. If you guys can see in the background, the chair is here and we're going to build it. It's going to be awesome. Well, this is definitely more complicated than my birdie gear chair, but let's give it a go. I did the wheels. As you can see, it looks like a spider. I like this little color accent on the wheels a lot, actually. I think that's really cool. Right here. I don't know how this goes. This does not look like the one in the instructions. Where do you go? Does that look right to you? We're gonna find out. I'm holding it up with my feet. This is a mess, so I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> We're back and we're finally going to be building this Vertigo chair and then we're going to compare all the chairs together and it's going to be a roundup of chairs. A charity if you will. <laughs> Don't laugh. Do not laugh at that. I built the same model of chair years ago. It's just been a while. I want to show y'all something really quick that I think is super nice for this chair. Do you see this? It's labeled. It says front. I like that. Direction. I know which way this thing goes. It's illustrated really well here. That's good. It's fine. Looks good. And then we take the big boys and we screw them on the side here and then I think we're pretty much done. They take forever to screw in though. Alrighty, let's make sure it works. It does. <laughs> There's something oh so pretty and divine about a white gaming chair. I don't know what it is, but I just love the look of them. It just blends in really nicely with my background. It reflects the RGB lights in my room. Loving this so far. If I may, I'm gonna go ahead and round up all the chairs. I'm also gonna turn the light in here white so we can see the true color of the chairs as well. Um, and uh, let's just take a look at all of them. How do I display all of these? <laughs> How does that look? Okay, let's take a look at them. Here are the chairs that we're gonna be looking at today. This one I have had for two years. This is the one that I'm gonna be replacing. I'm gonna show you why I am. It got a little busted here. It started out as a very small rip, and then literally, I'd say probably a week later, it just meow, it just shoo. So yeah, I want to replace it, and I really wanna try out a white chair. 
So I ended up asking Freddy Gear for the white chair, which they sent me. Thank you guys so much. But then also, G Fuel surprised me with this DX racer. So I'm like, uh, yes, thank you. I've had a lot of experience with this Freddy Gear chair. It has been a fantastic chair. I have loved sitting in it. It has this sort of uh, pleathery material. Um, it's pretty thick and it's pretty firm even after two years of sitting in it. This material is great for cleaning, but I didn't know that DX Racer also has its own different material as well. There's definitely a difference. Um, how do I explain the difference? This one feels a little bit more rugged than this one. This one almost has a cooling effect to it. This one also seems to be a bit more firm than this one. Yeah. How's about the new one? Let's see. Oh, that's so firm. That is a new chair and a half. The lumbar support on the DX Racer is extremely squishy, so it really takes the shape of your lower back really nicely. Um, this is super firm. I, I prefer a little bit more firm personally, but this is a really nice option. Also, as y'all can probably tell, there's a couple of aesthetic differences as well. Um, the Vertigear chair looks fantastic, very simple. Um, looks great, obviously. The DX Racer also looks fantastic. It is so bright and so pretty. This is a beautiful chair. And honestly, most DX Racers that I've seen just glow. The color is just super vibrant. I think Vertigo tends to be a tiny bit more muted when it comes to color, but still looks fantastic. If that's what you're going for and that's your aesthetic, which is my aesthetic, you're gonna love it. But this is so bright. This one's not for sale, so I'm sorry. I'm gonna get y'all's hopes up. But also, something I wanna point out. Look, you have color on the feet. How cool is that? Something else I want to mention with the DX Racer as well, it has a little bit more customization to it in regards to the details. Like these armrests can go everywhere. Do you see this adjustment? Uh, the Vertigo chairs don't quite do that, um, which doesn't bother me at all. Actually, I keep hitting this to the side when I'm sitting at my setup. I'm like, no, stop, stay put. And if you look down below, you can lift up the chair, but you can also lock it in place with the DX Racer. With the Vertigo, you can only just lift it up and down, no locking. To be honest, they are all fantastic chairs, all great quality. I will say i kind of gravitating towards the Vertigear one a little bit because I do want to reflect some RGB lighting in my office. I have a white theme in my office, so I think it suits my setup really well. But this chair, there's something special about this chair too. It is so colorful, so pal, bright. I say the main takeaway when it comes to these gaming chairs is this. Vertigear tends to be a bit more muted in color. It's also a lot more firm, especially the lumbar support being extremely firm. Uh, easier to assemble. I might be a little biased because I've already built one before. And this chair also lasted me for two years. And if a rip in the seat bothers you, just cover it up with a blanket. No one would know. The DX Racer material has sort of a cooling effect. Um, it's a little bit more squishy. Um, it's really great for long periods of time when you're gaming. There's been a lot of attention to detail as you guys can see, even on the feet. They have colored feet. It was a teensy bit more difficult to set up, but I also think that there's a wider variety of colors and variants with the DX Racers. Moral of the story, all of these chairs are fantastic picks. It's mostly up to personal preference. I say go with your gut and you probably won't be wrong, but I do recommend investing in a really nice gaming chair for your setup. Ergonomics are everything. If you're gonna be sitting for long periods of time, you need a nice chair. Pardon the messy setup, but what do you guys think looks the best? Do you like this chair, which I've had for a while? Do you like the G Field DX Racer? It really adds just some pow color to my setup. Goodness, changes the vibe. Love it. Or do you like the white Vertigear chair? I am a little bit partial to this because this was what I had in my mind when I first was putting together my office. Uh, I just really wanted a white chair and having a bunch of RGB lights that reflect onto the chair. I'm gonna change the lights and let's see how it looks. I mean, I don't know if you guys see what I see, but I think that just looks amazing. See how the color reflects onto the chair itself? Ooh, that teal though. Ooh, this is exactly the look that I was going for. I love this. I'm gonna be sitting in this chair for a bit, but I will probably switch it up with a couple of these chairs too. Are you guys ready? You guys are never ready for this. You already know what's coming. Look, look at him. Hi buddy, how are you doing? Hey, do you wanna say anything to the camera? You look extra squishy today. Oh my God, you're so freaking cute. Look at your squishy little face. <laughs> Aw, are you comfy? Are you comfy buddy? You're such a good boy. So today I'm here in my living room and I'm gonna be honest, I have been sitting here waiting to install a CPU cooler into my PC. So today's finally the day. I'm gonna clean out my PC a little bit. I'm gonna install this cooler. I've had this for so long. It's from Asus, it's beautiful. Let's just go ahead and get rocking and rolling. I'm gonna do it in my living room because I live here now and I can do that. I can actually change the scenery of where I am, so. I'm getting the PC, buddy. Are you excited? This is heavier than I remember. I've got this big old cooler. Do you see this thing? No, you don't, because it's not in the shot. Here, I'll lift it up. Watch this. I'm a YouTuber. I've got this big old cooler. This is what we're putting in. It's by Asus. I don't know how to pronounce it. Ryujin? Ryujin 360. It's a big old radiator, and it's going to be great for cooling. I have thermal paste. You guys know lucky, trusty thermal paste. You always need this. And I have cable clippers with no zip ties. Okay. Um, we'll figure it out when we get there. It's fine. Cable management, we'll, we'll get there. It's fine. 
This is a big ass radiator. <laughs> oh my god. Do you see this? Look, I know y'all PC enthusiasts are like, yeah, no, this is totally normal. What are you talking about? Look, look. I'm not used to big boy radiator, okay? Do you know how to install a CPU cooler? Here. All you, buddy. Man, I just swept last, oh, there we go, oh God. Oh God, oh God, oh God. I swept last night, I'm gonna have to sweep again. I'm taking this outside right now. Oh my God, this is so bad. Okay, that's a lot better, isn't it? Now that looks clean. This is what it should look like. Do you guys see him? What, ha what happened? Why is he so sad in the corner? Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, he's embarrassed of my PC too, and honestly, I had kind of the same reaction, so I totally understand. And ZXT Hue Plus, I'm not using it anymore. I'm gonna be going with something that isn't RGB. I'm really excited to see how that goes. I know everybody loves RGB, but I kind of want to mix it up a little bit, so that's what we're doing. All right, so here's what I'm doing. I have a new CPU cooler. I'm putting on the fans, so I'm putting them on like this, and I'm screwing them in. Crazy, huh? And there you have it. All good and ready to go. Let's see what we are working with with this CPU cooler. Shall we lift this up? Let's do it. Not bad. It has been a long time since I've seen Mordecai like this. No CPU cooler, no graphics card. I went ahead and took out my Elgato as well because we're going to do a little bit of cleaning. So here we go. Yep. <laughs> Now that looks way better and way shinier. I don't know if you guys can hear, but my dog is snoring. <laughs> I got it all hooked up and oh my goodness, it looks so nice. Would you look at that yet? Now I gotta put the cover on. That was terrible, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, you can see me in the CPU mirror. Hey, how's it going over there? <laughs> but we went ahead and installed this new CPU cooler. I'm pretty happy with it so far. I mean, hopefully it works. I gotta test it out first. So let's go do that. Do a couple more cleanup things and uh, we're good. Wow, look at how pretty it is. It's all lit up. We're gonna go ahead and do our first power on test. Go. And of course it's not powering on. Why? Why? So without fail, every single PC that I have built on YouTube has had the same issue, a RAM stick. So I went ahead and took this out. I'm gonna try and power this on and watch, it's gonna work. It's incredible how it works. Let me plug in a display port cable. Okay, we're gonna power this on, ready? Go. What do you know it works? This is so stupid. Can somebody tell me why? Whoa, whoa, it has the Asus logo. Cool, is it working? Is it working? And it's working. Okay, so there you have it. It's always this one RAM stick, or it's a RAM stick. Let's go ahead and uh, put this back in, because somehow that works, and we'll get right back into it. Hey, so I got to boot up, but this is just my worst nightmare right now. <laughs> Here's where we are. Both RAM sticks are working. Everything seems to be working. Thank goodness. I don't know what happens. Just PCs, you know. It is finally done, as you can see. Ding dong, all right. It is finally complete. Mordecai is done with his, really just the installation of the CPU cooler, but looks great, functioning great. I actually love the lack of RGB. I think it looks so clean. I love it. And it also, this has a tiny monitor on it, so I put Archie on there. He's not flashing like he is on camera, I promise. That's just the shutter speed but I put my dog on there because why wouldn't I put my dog on there? <laughs> I think that wraps up everything that I wanna go ahead and tackle in this video. So we cleaned a bunch of Guitar Hero controllers and my Xbox controller as well. Built a lot of gaming chairs. Hopefully I provided some sort of insight for you all who might be interested in buying one. Uh, what else did I do? A uh, guest room PC setup is on the way. It's a uh, very beginner and it's we're getting there okay it's gonna look sick I promise you and we also replaced my CPU cooler and my PC as well um, another thing I wanted to talk about really quick before I end the video uh, so VR stuff I definitely have been addicted to VR like I Beat Saber is my life now um, I do plan on going into a bit of mixed reality um, I think that would be really cool for streams and videos uh, mostly streams though I would say but um, that's definitely in the plans um, VR is great and I would like to make a full and dedicated video when I actually set up the green screen and 
all of that jazz. So please stick around for that and uh, let me know if you guys like this video or not. I think it's really random, but it's also really fun and it, like, I don't know, it helps me vlog a bit and like keep on practicing vlogging and stuff and I like tech stuff. I like to watch random tech things. So let me know if you like this video or not and if you don't, it's okay. Feel free to tell me. Anyways, like, comment, please subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next video, whatever I make. Bye-bye. That was a pretty good outro, wasn't it? Well, Hannah, I think you're improving. Am I even myself if I get good at outros? I don't know. Who even am I?